I um, almost didn't come today. I usually come on um, Thursdays, and uh, some for some reason um, today was a day that I was here. I was able to come. Um, I will share with you my journey with Guruji. I would tell you that I'm probably a, a, a new Sangat. And, um, and I think everything that you have said about the importance of coming here, listening to the Shabbats, um, and doing everything that we do completely gets you closer. I've only been coming for a few you know, weeks now, um, and I can already feel the difference. So it's, it's very true. Um, I just returned um, from India. I was um, lucky enough to have a six-year expat assignment there. Um, I was working with my company and they had asked me to set up uh, an operation in India and it was successful and I had done that and so now I returned back in July of this year. Um, and I was in India in starting in 2012 and how I reached India is also, I don't even know how, that was never something that I had intended or ever thought I would do. But somehow, I landed up um, working in India. And um, I remember um, meeting this uh, lady who later became my friend. And she would always, we would meet every week, um, and she would always tell me about Guruji and Guruji's miracles. And I, it, I really didn't connect with her at the time. I would al always share with her complained with her about some of the challenges that I was going through. And she said, you must meet Guruji, you must come to the um, Mandir. And for four years, this went on, and I never went. Um, somehow, in uh, 2016, uh, I, I don't know, I just decided that you know I wanted to go to the Mandir. And I was fortunate enough to go to uh, the Bada Mandir. I've never been to Empire State, but I went to Bada Mandir in um, May of 2016. Um, I went, I felt nice, but nothing, you know, extraordinary. Um, but then I would start to see all of these, you know, cars with Guruji's um, stickers on there, J Guruji. I would start seeing Guruji's photos and things everywhere. And soon I realized that the, even the people that I was connected with all had something to do with Guruji. And these were my friends. I mean, these were my party friends. I mean, they were not, you know, we never really talked about Guruji before all of this. And so soon I began to realize that, you know how they say the Sangat is so important. I was somehow being drawn and connected to the people that were connected to Guruji. And that continues to this day. Um, so I, you know, went a couple more times. I started becoming more intrigued with Guruji, and I was fortunate enough to meet people that had actually met him, and they would tell me stories about his miracles. And I, I you know, I was just in awe of it. I mean, I found myself even when we were going out for drinks with friends, we would talk about Guruji, um, sitting at a bar talking about Guruji. It was really quite miraculous for me. Um, and then, uh, you know, this, is, this went on for about a year, and I came um, to, uh, to, to the U.S. in the summer of, two, then I would make trips back and forth. I have three children, two were going to college in the U.S. by this time, and I was with one of my uh, daughters who was with me in India. She was in eighth grade, and so in the summer of 2017, I came for a weekend to drop my daughter off to college. And um, and just just like um, any, you know, we wanted to make sure she got all of her checkups and I needed to go get my checkups and we just both made appointments to get our medical checkups done. And I remember I had like a um, four day weekend. I was gonna come on Friday and I was gonna drop her off on the weekend. I was gonna meet a couple friends on Monday, Tuesday. I was gonna fly back. Tuesday night. I had it all planned out. I uh, went in for my mammogram, and she went upstairs to do her dermatology appointment. I was supposed to meet her later. Well, needless to say, I never 
left on Friday. That was, you know, the imaging and everything came back with the worst, um, you know, news that any woman wants to hear. Um, and it took a while to register that somebody was telling me that I had breast cancer. I was like, where did this come from? This is not, this happens to other people. It doesn't happen to me. And I really, by the way, uh, you know, before I came to India, somebody gave me um, Guruji's, you know, the little card on it, and I kept it with me all the time, and I did everything I could. I prayed, I did mantra, I did the, you know, everything. Uh, but needless to say, there was, you know, when the biopsy came back, it was, it was positive. Um, but I wasn't, I still wasn't scared, but I was worried. I had a daughter, I didn't have a home in the U.S., I had a daughter in um, India in eighth grade. We were planning on moving back. I did not want to shift her. I was trying to help, but you know, it was like, what am I going to do? You know, how am I going to manage this uh, situation? My husband was with my daughter. I was here alone. I was like, where am I going to get this treatment? And for those of you that have had um, any family member or anybody that's been afflicted by this, you know that it is a very, very difficult process. And um, for me to be able to get diagnosed, get the treatment, get everything I needed to do in the short period of time to get it all set up between India and the US and get all of the fine doctors, I know he was with me. I know he was with me. And um, some when I went back to India, because my doctor here gave me eight days to figure out what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do the treatment. I went back to India and everything just fell into place. I had my satsang with Guruji and I had his blessings and I began my chemo treatment in September of 2017. And somehow I, I managed my care between India and the US. I'm back now, I'm cancer free. And he has only been there to support me throughout everything. And I remember, um, you know, when I left there, I had such a good Sangat, and we were just so close to Guruji. We would, there was satsangs every week. There was Mondays, every Monday I would go for, for to the Bada Mandir. I was like, how am I gonna find that here? And then, you know, this is truly a blessing that you have this here, and you've created such a beautiful space with Guruji. And that first satsang that I came to here, I remember Simanti, what you said, you repeated something of what you said today. You said that, you know, listen, because there's always something that either you're going to hear through the satsang or you're going to hear through the shabbat that's going to be meaningful to you. And you said two things that day. You said that um, you talked about discipline and you talked about patience. And I remember those because those have been very important because, as you know, with this disease, side effects are crazy. Um, and so, you know, those two words... Guruji's blessings, and um, it's just been amazing. So um, I hope that we can all get, I can get close to the, to the Sangat here, and I feel very blessed to be here. And uh, thank you for asking me to share. Thank you. <laughs>